Hello and welcome to all you at home scale model luthiers. Today we're going to show you how to put together your scale model bass guitar kit. Welcome to our tutorial on lacquering and applying the decal for your scale model bass guitar. This tutorial is part 6 of a series designed to help guide you through the process of making your scale model bass guitar kit from a Perla handcrafted guitars. So if you're watching this video and you haven't got a kit or you missed the first videos, you can find all those details in the links below. The tools you will need to complete this task are your scale model bass guitar neck with fingerboard, body, knobs and pickups, lacquers and masking tape, newspapers, cardboard or a surface you don't mind getting dirty. The lacquers we are using today are Tamiya colours in grey smoke and clear satin. There are many different types of lacquers and finishes that you could experiment with for this project. Today we have chosen to share with you our technique for a great smoky burst. Begin by prepping your work area with newspapers, cardboard or something similar. When spraying there will be overspray so try to work outside or somewhere that is well ventilated and can handle a bit of mess. To protect your fretboard from unwanted overspray we will first cover it with a piece of masking tape covering the area from the nut right to the bottom of the fretboard. Here we use a small wooden stake to prop up the body of the bass guitar. That way we can get a nice even paint job without having to hold the instrument up using our hands. We drill a small hole in the neck pocket so it won't be seen later. We also drilled a hole in the wooden surface we were using for the other end of our skewer. We attached the pickups and the knobs to our work surface using a piece of double sided tape so that they didn't blow away when we sprayed them. Remember to shake your paints up well. We begin by spraying a coat of clear satin over the neck, pickups and knobs. Once dry we go back over and give the body and headstock an initial coat of clear. Satin paint jobs are a lot easier to do than high gloss as they don't require as much working away of imperfections as high gloss paint jobs need. Once the headstock and body are dry, you can bring them back over to your usual spot for more sanding and to apply the decal. For this section you will need your Aperla decal, fine grit sandpaper, 320 or higher, a small amount of water, a hobby knife and craft mat. Lightly sand your body and headstock to remove any bumps and dust. It doesn't need to be perfect at this point, the surface just needs to be flat for the decal to sit on. Using your hobby knife, accurately cut the decal to shape. You can now soak the decal in a small amount of water. We use our hobby knife to remove the decal from the water and carefully apply it to the headstock. Mm -hmm. 
Once in place, you can use a tissue to soak up, dab away any excess water, and press the decal flat in place if needed. When the decal is dry, you can bring your pieces back outside for another coat of lacquer. After two coats, the neck is starting to look pretty good. Now we are ready to add our burst. We add the grey smoke burst by starting our spray off of the guitar and slowly bringing it closer in circular motions to follow the curves of the guitar. This part is a combination of skill and luck. So take it slow, build your burst gradually, and don't get too caught up if the burst is a little larger than you first expected it to be. Once the burst is dry, we apply a final coat of clear satin to the body and leave it to dry. And now you have your lacquered scale model bass guitar with headstock decal. The next step will be final finishing, and we'll be talking you through that process in our next video. Stay up to date with all our tips, tricks and inspiration on our website and social media. If you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.